Alrighty, hey guys, uh, welcome back to the art room for our uh, fancy dog drawing lesson. All right, so um, I thought this would be a fun one to end our line unit and sort of start beginning our shape unit. We are gonna use shapes and lines to create these fancy dogs. And um, this lesson is inspired by um, George Rodrigue. He's a Louisiana artist, which is a state um, down in the South and um, here in America, and he is an artist known for painting um, blue dogs. Okay, and so we're gonna watch a little YouTube video about him and all the crazy ways and places that he puts his famous blue dog. And so we are gonna learn how to use shapes to create the blue dog that he made, and then also use shapes to create our own cartoon dog. So um, I have a couple different, like I have a similar face here to this face and I'll show you how to make that and you can make the ears however you want to kind of switch up what the dog looks like. Um, you can switch up the body, this one's sitting, um, this one's standing and then we'll look at how to make one just like uh, George Rodrigue does. So you can decide today if you make a blue dog like, or if you make a dog like him, if you want to make a dog like I'm making, or if you want to come up with your own way to make a dog. So um, remember, this is art class. So I'm going to show you a couple things, and then you guys can create what you want to create for your art project. Maybe you decide, mine's not even going to be a dog. I think I want to do a cat. Um, that's okay with me. So I'm totally cool with that as long as you are drawing and working hard. Um, I'm just excited to have you here making art with me. So um, what we're gonna use today is, if you wanna make George Rodriguez's dog, you'll need a pencil because we're gonna start with some shapes that we'll have to erase out. Um, if you want to make our cartoon dog, you'll just need maybe some crayons or markers or something uh, like a pencil or a Sharpie to draw with. And that's it. So go grab those things and a piece of paper and meet me back here. I'm gonna turn my camera around so we can try out making these dogs. So remember, you don't have to make both. So I'm gonna show both. So think about maybe you wanna fast forward through one of them so you can work on that one. Or maybe you are this crazy overachiever and you're gonna make all the dogs. Um, okay, all right. Today, we're going to talk about George Rodrigue. George Rodrigue was born and raised in Cajun country Louisiana, located in the United States. George Rodrigue lived from 1944 and recently passed away in 2013. George Rodrigue portrayed on his canvas his dying heritage. This included his land, the people, the traditions, and the mythology. He felt that with a progressive world, it was very important to preserve his traditional heritage. George Rodrigue created his early 1990s Blue Dog series based on the French Cajun Loup Garou legend. It captured him worldwide fame and his Blue Dog series became modern masterpieces. As a passionate philanthropist, Rodrigue founded the George Rodrigue Foundation of the Arts, advocating the importance of the arts in education. Programs include art supplies for schools, scholarships, and arts integration programs throughout Louisiana. George Rodrigue, known for his Blue Dog series, was inspired by the myths of the Loup Garou. He painted a Cajun ghost story that was based on a werewolf type dog. This werewolf dog often was a story he heard as a boy. He had no image for the Loup Garou other than what he imagined in his mind. So, in order to find a suitable shape to develop his blue dog, he found in his photos from his studio dog, Tiffany. Tiffany had passed away several years prior, and he used photographs of the way she stood, sat, and manipulated her shape to meet the needs for his painting. Under a blue night sky, he painted the image of a pale gray blue and gave the dog red eyes. He liked what he saw and added this image to a list of his Cajun legends, painting it in the cemetery and then the bayou scenes for about five to six years. Over time, Rodrigue changed the dog's eyes to yellow. He created a friendlier image and soon realized that Blue Dog could take him anywhere on the canvas, even out of Cajun country in Louisiana. He explored his earlier pop and abstract interests breaking his canvases into strong shapes, bright colors, oak trees, and the addition of bold blocks of color 
with his new signature shapes. Gradually, Blue Dog became bluer, more abstract, and Blue Dog was on a mission and an adventure in many of his canvas pieces. Some, Blue Dog is dressed up in many different outfits. But for George Rodrigue, Blue Dog became his signature style and symbol that he is well known today. Alrighty, the first one we're gonna start with is the cartoon dog. Now remember, you can make the dog look like whatever you want your dog to look like. I'm just showing you how to make a cartoon dog that I know how to draw. Um, so you don't have to make it look like this. You can make it look like your dog or um, you can wait and try the George Rodrigue type of dog, his blue dog that he makes. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with shapes. Like I said, we are gonna be moving into the shape unit. So um, we're gonna start turning our lines into shapes. So that first line we're gonna make is an oval. Turn it into an oval. So it starts as a line, it goes around and it connects. Okay, so that's gonna be the muzzle or the snout part of our doggy. I'm gonna put a rainbow line on top of it. And remember, this is a cartoon dog. So this is super pronounced. Um, it might not really be like that on every dog. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a V here, a wide set V, and that's gonna be for his nose. If you want to leave a little bit of the spot white in there to show that his nose is shiny and has a little glare on it, you can just fill in all the parts except for one little spot, and now it looks like he has a shiny nose. And I'm gonna put a J here, J on this side. Kind of shows where his jowls are here and his mouth is inside of here. You can even add a little tongue if you wanted. I'm gonna put little dots here to show where his whiskers are. I think on a cartoon dog, I don't like to actually make the whiskers because I think it looks too cat-like then. But dogs do have whiskers, so if you wanted to add them on, you could. Alrighty, I'm gonna add on some little eyes for my dog, maybe some little eyebrows. He's so cute. And now the type of ears that you wanna make is up to you. Are you gonna make them um, pointy like I did on this one or on like um, George Rodriguez's dog? He also has a pointy ear dog. You decide what you wanna put for yours. I'll do a um, going down one so you can see. So I go up to start and then I make my line going down and then I round it and connect it up. Alrighty, now our body's a little tricky. It's kind of made, it's mostly made up of lines. So um, I'm gonna put the collar on, which I just put two vertical lines going down and then connect them. That's his little collar. And now I'm gonna put his body. So I'm gonna go down, 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 down. Those are gonna be his two front legs. So I just put a little paw on here and a little paw on here, and then go up a little, up a little. Let me close this off here. And then his back legs are a little tricky. So I go down and then I bump up like I'm kind of making a heart. And then make his paw on the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna start it up a little higher. Go down, down, down. Bump out for my heart and then put his little paw on it. And you can even add a little line here to show where his legs folded there. And then pick a spot to add on your tail to show that it's behind him. What kind of tail does your doggy have? Okay, this part down here is tricky. It looks kind of like frog legs. Let's try it again together, ready? Let's do our dog face. Oval, rainbow line. Add on the type of ears you want your doggy to have. Right, I got my little dog face. I'm gonna put on my collar, two vertical lines, and close it off. Then we're gonna go down, 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 down. Paw, paw. Back up, back up. Close it off there, that's his little belly. And then we go diagonal down. Make like you're making a side of a heart. And put a little paw on it. Same thing, down, down, down. Make like you're making the side of a heart and put a little paw on it. <laughs> Those are such silly lines, right? Little sitting dog. And let's put his tail on this side today. 
All right, there's our sitting dog. So remember, this part is tricky. So you do not, if you're trying it and trying it and trying it and you can't get it, that's okay. Um, if, especially if you already practiced on your whiteboard a couple times and you decided you don't want to make it on your fancy dog, you don't have to. You could make his snout really big and do a portrait of a dog instead. Now my dog has these long wavy ears. Oh, I love those. So instead, if you wanted to, your dog could be just a portrait of a dog, which is this, the top part of the dog. Like this, right? And then this is where his collar would be right here. And I pretend he goes right off of the page here. His body comes here and maybe this is the top part of my page. Or this is about what my picture looks like here, which means I filled up the whole space with just my dog head. That's super cool. And if you wanted to make yours fancy, like we talked about at the beginning, maybe you're going to put a headband on him. Maybe you can add on a little bow. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Maybe you're going to add on a bow tie here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is hilarious, right? Okay, so um, that's cartoon dog. Okay, now we are going to try our George Rodriguez dog next. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna color both, okay? So if you don't wanna learn the George Rodriguez dog, you can skip to the coloring part of our dogs. So I'm going to now grab a pencil to draw my blue dog, like George Rod, George Rod, we, like we, George Rod Reed, like we saw in our video. So we are going to start off with his face, and his face is a circular shape. And the reason we're using a pencil is because we're going to erase some of this. Okay, so draw nice and light. Push your fingers back up on your pencil so that you can get a light, a lighter grip. It makes you draw later if your hands aren't really tight down here. Okay, so I have my circular shape here. Once you like it, you're good. Then in his head, in the middle of his face here, I'm gonna make this kind of long rainbow line. And that's gonna be that white part of his face that George Rodriguez draws right in here. Down below, even below the circle here, I'm going to bring his snout down. He has a pointy face, so he's going to come down below the circle. I'm going to make sort of a rounded square shape. So it's kind of like a square, it's kind of rounded. Okay. Now I'm going to want to erase this line out here and any lines that you didn't like. So I'm going to erase some of my snout. here and I can erase out some of these lines that maybe I didn't like as much. All right, well, it looks kind of silly right now, but it'll look more dog-like in a second. Okay, now we are going to add on at the top here his ears. He has those big triangular shaped ears. Oh my goodness, he is looking so silly. So you see that I'm just drawing light until I get it right. And remember, if you wanted to draw the cartoon dog, you did not need to continue on to watch this. Only if you want. Okay, now we are going to add on his nose, which will be right in here. I'm gonna do kind of like a bent line. It's kind of like a rounded triangular shape. So instead of being a pointy triangle, I made the triangle shape, but I just kind of rounded those spots where all the lines meet each other. Okay, and you can leave a little glare spot on there if you want by adding a little oval of white. 
filling in the rest. And then he's kind of a serious dog, so I'm just gonna put like a straight line for his little mouth. It's not really smiling in any of George Rodriguez's pictures. Okay, so now I'm gonna add on his eyes. His eyes are right here across from this white spot on his face. Okay, and they're kind of just a circular shape with a black dot in the center. Let's try and make that even on both sides, Mrs. Ash, huh? He's starting to look pretty cool. I don't need these no shapes. Okay, now for his body. It's really similar to our cartoon dog we did before. It kind of goes down. And then we go out for his shoulders, the top part of his legs, and then back in for the bottom. Now I'm kind of running out of room here. So if that happens to you, you can choose to shorten up his body a little if you need to. Like I'm kind of gonna make mine a little shorter than what it should be. Or you can have it go right off of the page. So you could bring your feet off and maybe he, you wouldn't see them completely. Okay, so I came down a little for his neck and then I went out for the top part of his legs, his shoulders, and then back down here. I'm gonna put on his little paw here. Just a little rounded line and back up. And same thing on this side. Little paw. And back up. And then his belly would be in here. And then his hind legs. He kind of has them pop out the back, that back leg, and then he has it go out like this. So it's similar to the cartoon dog, but a little bit different. <laughs> it looks kind of silly, Mrs. Ash. But we are following George Rodriguez. Your dog does not have to look just like his. I don't like the space in between here. I think that needs to be closer together. Good thing I'm using a pencil. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I think that mine is bumping out too far. I'm looking at George Rodriguez. His slopes a little bit more, so it slopes into the leg here. And then out for his paw. Back up. Yeah, that looks more like George's picture. Okay, so he slopes down. Before I was kind of just pushing it out. This is more of a slope here. All right, that is a silly looking dog. Okay, and then he has his little tail here. All right, and so now like we saw on George Rodriguez's pictures of the blue dog, he always has his blue dog um, wearing cool um, accessories. He has him in strange backgrounds, like maybe he's at the beach or, and so that's why I called this project Fancy fancy dog because I wanted you to add some crazy details to your dog if you wanted to. So I am going to have give my blue dog maybe a cool collar here. Maybe it's gonna come down like he's wearing a button up shirt. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. Okay. And then maybe he has like a sweater on here. It comes over his shoulders here. Here he has some buttons on his shirt. Oh my gosh, I wish we were doing these together in person because these would be so funny to talk about what everybody else is adding to their dogs. Like, can't wait to see what you send me. Because you guys always are more creative than me. Oh my goodness, my blue dog is wearing a sweater with a button down shirt. Now come on, that's funny. Okay, so you add to your blue dog what you want. Um, you could add a background, maybe put a horizon line behind him so he's sitting somewhere here. Maybe he's sitting on a little throne or he's sitting in his dog bed. Look, this could be his dog bed he's sitting on. I like that. Maybe, maybe since my dog's dressed fancy, maybe he's at a museum and behind him is some artworks. 
famous artworks in frames. So those would be things that maybe are in the background behind him. So I'm just kind of drawing lightly to get my ideas out. Um, this up a little. You guys can do the same. So we did our cartoon dogs. We did our blue dog. You can decide which one you want to make. I am going to go ahead and color these both in and speed that up for you so you don't have to watch me color all day. You can work on your coloring. All right, here we go. Alrighty guys, do you have to make your dog blue? Absolutely not. You can make it whatever color you want. So you don't have to make it just like George Rodriguez, it's only if you wanted to. Alrighty, so we just finished making our dogs. Um, I'm excited to see if you chose to do the George Rodriguez dog, the blue dog. Um, and when I made mine, I didn't even make it blue, I made him purple. And I even filled in this middle section, his snout area, the part that sticks out, I made that instead of white, all of George Rodriguez are white, but I made mine this light purple and then my, did my whole dog in purple. It kind of looks blue, but really it's purple. Um, all right, so I wanna see, did you add clothes? Did you make him fancy? Um, like this one, or this one I added a sweater, or did you decide to keep him a little bit more normal and just regular dog body? Um, did you try the cartoon? Did you draw this one? So I'm excited to see how you did your project. Did you add a background? Like this one that I had added at the museum? Um, did you have your dog sitting somewhere? Did you do just a portrait of a dog? Just this top part of a dog? So um, send me your art so I can check it out. I love you being creative. So remember, it doesn't need to look like mine or like George Rodriguez. These are all just fun ways to get you started. So see you guys next time.